Welcome back all you storytellers. How are you today? Now, this week's story is part of the Oi series. We've got Oi Frog, written by Kez Gray and illustrated by Jim Field. Now make sure you stick around until the end of the story because I've got a few shout outs and also an amazing picture to show you that was sent in on the hashtag, hashtag storytime with Steffi. So stick around and enjoy the story, storytellers. <laughs> Frog, written by Kez Gray and illustrated by Jim Field. Oi, frog, sit on a log, said the cat. But I don't want to sit on a log, said the frog. Logs are all knobbly and uncomfortable and they can give you splinters in your bottom. I don't care, said the cat. You're a frog, so you must sit on a log. Can't I sit on a mat? asked the frog. Only cats sit on mats, said the cat. What about a chair, said the frog. I wouldn't mind sitting on a chair. Hares sit on chairs, said the cat. Perhaps I could sit on a stool, said the frog. Mules sit on stools, said the cat. What about a sofa, said the frog. I could stretch right out on a sofa. Gophers sit on sofas, said the frog. It's very simple, really. Cats sit on mat. Hares sit on chairs. Mules sit on stools. Gophers sit on sofas. And frogs sit on logs. What do lions sit on, asked the frog. Lions sit on irons, said the cat. Ouch, said the frog. What do parrots sit on? Parrots sit on carrots, said the cat. Lions sit on irons and parrots sit on carrots. Doesn't sound very comfortable, said the frog. It's not about being comfortable, said the cat. It's about doing the right thing. What do foxes sit on? asked the frog. Foxes sit on boxes, said the cat. Foxes sit on boxes and fleas sit on peas. What do goats sit on? asked the frog. Goats sit on coats, said the cat. Goats sit on coats, cows sit on ploughs and storks sit on forks. What do gorillas sit on? asked the frog. Gorillas sit on pillars, said the cat. Gorillas sit on pillars. Rats sit on hats. Weasels sit on easels. Moles sit on poles. What do seals sit on? asked the frog. Don't you know anything? said the cat. Seals sit on wheels. Doves sit on gloves, newts sit on flutes, lizards sit on wizards, and apes sit on grapes. What about puffins? asked the frog. Puffins sit on muffins, said the cat. Puffins sit on muffins, snakes sit on cakes, owls sit on towels, gibbons sit on ribbons, lambs sit on jams, bees sit on keys, and pumas sit on satsumas. Well, I never knew that, said the frog. Well, you do now, said the cat. What do dogs sit on, asked the frog. I was hoping you weren't going to ask that, said the cat. Help! And there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this week's story. Now I do have a few questions for you about our story this week, Oi Frog. The first question is, in the story, what do gorillas sit on? Is it pillars, caterpillars or chinchillas? Shout out your answer now. Well done everyone, the answer was A, pillars. Question number two. At the start of the story, who tells the frog to sit on a log? Is it A, a dog, B, a cat, or C, a tiger? Shout out your answer now. 
brilliant, everyone. The answer was B, a cat. You did amazing with those questions, storytellers. Well done. Now it's time for me to show you a picture sent in through our hashtag on Instagram, hashtag storytime with Steffi. So here we go, here's the picture. Now this picture was sent in by somebody called Orlando, and I just think it's absolutely amazing. They've used their hands to create this picture, and that red colour is absolutely fantastic. So a massive round of applause goes to Orlando. Yeah, what an incredible photo. Well done, Orlando. Now, we do have some shout-outs before we go, and this shout-out is to Bertie all the way in Nottingham. Hiya! And that's all we've got time for today on Storytime with Steffi. I really hope you enjoyed this week's story. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at Storytime with Steffi and send in any pictures that you've got hashtagging Storytime with Steffi, and you could be appearing next week on this channel. <sighs> Exciting! All right, we'll see you next week. Bye, storytellers.